What's up, everybody? It's Alex. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Alex and RJ here from Back. <laughs> 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 What's up everybody? It's Alex and RJ here from Backyard Sprouts. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about why we chose to get a corporate credit card in the first place, and then go through the process and the steps that we discuss to determine which card we wanna use. So that's coming up next. So we decided to get a corporate credit card for our business because we have been using our debit cards for our business account, obviously, to charge and expense everything. And it was really just getting to RJ over time because he was noticing how much money we were spending and also thinking about all the points and the different credit we could be building if we had actually had a credit card. Right. Yeah. If this is a whole different topic, like the credit card world is a whole genre in YouTube. Like you can watch. Brian Jung, you can watch Ask Sebi, you can watch Credit Shifu, they are like your masters of credit, but it is a whole world out here when it, when it comes to credit. And if you, I'm a big believer, believer of if you're gonna spend the money, you might as well get points or get something out of it as long as you've, you have the discipline to use a credit card. And that's, that's tough for a lot of people. I know when I was super young, I maxed out credit cards and stuff, like that's a discipline that you learn over time. But once you know how to discipline yourself, pay on time. You, if you're spending $50, you might as well get $50 and points back, whether it's for travel, whether it's for cash back. And I mean, it's it always killed me for the first year and a half, two years of business. We were spending money every month on either soil or mm -hmm. seed or anything. And we were just using our debit card, debit card. And that was points that we could have accumulated for either travel or for cash back. So Alex and I finally sat down and I, we were like, okay, it's time we've established this business we're going on three years now let's open a business credit card so here we are so once alex and i agreed that we were going to go ahead and go into the credit card world we had to figure out which credit card we were going to choose and we definitely after trial and error we, we narrowed it down to two families either the american express family or the chase family and so just getting into it, Alex and I also didn't want to have a, a credit card that had an annual fee right from RIP, right? We wanted to kind of establish our, ourselves. And then once we get further along, then we can start looking into upgrading our cards with annual fees. But right now we wanted to focus on no annual fee. And so that landed us with the Chase Business Inc. Cash or Business Cash credit card or just the Inc. Business Unlimited. And then on the American Express side, it was either the American Express Business Cash or is the American Express Business Blue Card. And so Alex and I were, were, we were weighing what we really like and we both love to travel. So cash back didn't really do anything for us, but if we can accumulate points for travel, that's where we wanted to go. So we ended up going with the American Express Business Blue Card. And we went with that because, it's not because Chase is a, is a bad card, they're actually super, super reputable. The problem is, and I was telling Alex this, and you guys can Google this and do your own research on the side, but Chase has a 524 rule. And without getting too deep into it, 524 is if you've opened five credit cards, doesn't matter from anywhere, within 24 months, Chase, you've reached Chase's max limit and they will just automatically decline you even if you have an 800 credit, credit score. So I personally don't remember how many credit cards I've opened in the past 24 months, but I didn't want to subject us to a, a, a being declined. So we went with the safer route with American Express Business business plus card and we kind of just kind of just went from there and so we applied and then got the automatic approval which was super exciting and yeah we we pretty much got our credit cards what was it a week after that yeah it was a week it was a week or a week and a half and it came in the blue business credit card from american express covered everything that alex and i were looking for it had zero mm -hmm. annual fees which is awesome and it we earned and i'm reading this off of a macbook I'm, i don't memorize this stuff we earn 2x membership points on everything we spend on up to $50,000 and pretty much one point afterwards once we spend 50,000. Unfortunately, well not unfortunately, we're but we're not close to spending 50,000. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not rollers like that. We're back as far as spending 50,000 a yeah. year on, on stuff. Um, but hopefully maybe soon, yeah. that'd be cool. So again, the blue business was everything we were looking for. We spend the money anyway, so we're now getting 2x points on everything. So that could be used for travel, um, incidental fees, and it's no annual transaction. So blue business credit card, 
Beckett Faust is on board. So some of the things that we actually use the credit card for, if you're talking about, especially for us, a small business, right? We, one, you have to make sure for us in particular, where our debit account is, we have to have a limited number of funds in that account to make sure that we don't get charged any fees from the bank. So above and beyond that, we basically use the credit card then to pay for our stuff, such as our containers when we order them, seeds when I'm ordering seeds, uh, basically for going to uh, maybe take a customer out to lunch or going out to eat to have a kind of backyard sprouts focused meal we'll charge it to that we also have recently decided to sponsor a group called Carolina Wildlife and we are a monthly sponsor basically we donate a monthly amount to them and so instead of having that come out of our debit account it basically gets charged our credit card and then we just pay that off so we actually get the points for that donation which is pretty fun yeah and it starts to rack up like yeah. seed every now and then is like 200 300 400 dollars mm -hmm. soil every month i mean it starts to rack up so again now mm -hmm. you guys know why it was killing me for the first couple of years where we were just spending so much money hundreds hundreds if not thousands on just debit debit swipes right but now we are getting points another thing to be cautious of well i guess not cautious but just a heads up we are obviously partners in this business yeah. and so we are both tied to the same credit account we each have our own credit card our own credit numbers but i cannot see like i don't have access to see what rj spends his money on and he cannot see what i spend and use my card for so when it comes to for example sending your if you watched our video on trying to pick out an accountant and a cpa we have one that we work with and we monthly send them numbers and give them updates on what we're doing. So to give them a printout of all of our expenses, we actually have to each open that separately and send them a separate printout because we don't have access, but it comes from the same card. So if our limit's $2,000, together combined, we have a $2,000 limit. And then the other thing is if you already have, let's say specifically for American Express, if you already have an American Express card and you open an account with them for your business, it's going to show up on when you log in under that same login. So for some of, like for our business account, for example, we were able to set up for our bank a separate login so that our accountant had access to go in and just pull the numbers himself. And obviously doesn't have access to do anything, but he can just go see the numbers where RJ, for example, has other American Express cards and for him to, he can't give him his login because they're gonna be able to see all of the other information. Right, yeah, I guess uh, I still wanna do some research on that yeah. because you know, we can't be the only business that's running into this where we're, we're a business entity and our CPA wants access to our credit card. So maybe that's something with American Express if they can create like a, a separate login for them. It's something I still need to research, but I'm pretty sure we're not the only ones running into that issue. And last but not least, the, the next topic we wanted to cover is the actual sharing with you guys the process of applying for a credit card from a business standpoint. So when you guys create your business entity, most likely you guys will have to apply for an EIN number, which is um, pretty much your social security number for your business, right? It's how, they, it's how the IRS identifies you as a business and how they tax you properly. And so when you go onto American Express's website, you just hit apply. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select business credit card. And from there, the information is gonna change from like a personal sheet to a business sheet. And it's going to ask for your business entity. It's going to ask for your business EIN number. And it's just going to ask primarily from the get-go, my information. After they've collected my information, they're going to ask, is there another member of this business? And you say yes. And then you start putting in your partner's information. So I was hitting up Alex. I was like, Alex, I need this information, I need this information. And then once I've collected Alex's information, I plugged it in there and I submitted it. And literally within like a couple minutes, we we were approved so it's no it's no different than applying for a normal credit card other than the fact that instead of entering your social security you're just entering in your business entity and your business ein number so that they know which which ones to check something to note also if you guys are a first time business you guys won't have credit established for like let's say backyard sprouts right so it's important to know that they'll pull one of your guys' credit first to establish a base, so I have good credit. And so uh, that's why I applied for mine first and then I tacked on Alex. But what ends up happening is they will use your personal credit first until your business can establish a, uh, its, its own credit. And that's another topic of discussion for another video, but just know that that's how that works. Yeah, and that was actually a good point because that's another reason we wanted to start building business credit because mm -hmm. as we want to expand Backyard Sprouts, we just think it's a good idea that the company has its own 
credit developed and we start building that, that way we can use that if we need to to leverage other investments down the road. We hope you guys found that video useful. If you guys enjoyed it, please do us a favor and hit that like and subscribe button as it helps the YouTube algorithm promote our videos so that other entrepreneurs like yourselves can find it. It also helps encourage us to know that we're putting out content that you guys enjoy and find helpful. We'll see you Sprouts next time.